Om Shanti, welcome to 27th of January's Goli Blessing. Supreme Father says that our mind and our intellect should be in control of our thoughts. That means the soul. The soul should have a powerful thought with which the mind will think the things which it wants it to think. So there is another consciousness above that. So mind needs to think the things which the soul wants it to think. A very powerful thing. So may you be an easy yogi and set your mind and intellect on your seat with the power of determination. May you be an easy yogi and set your mind and intellect on your seat with the power of, power of determination. Your children have love for the father and this is why you have uh, to pay a lot of attention to having powerful remembrance. We love father so that's why we try to remember him as much as possible in every situation. So while, while sitting, walking and moving around and doing service, we want to remember him because we love him. However, if you don't have total control over your mind, if your mind is not in order, you sit properly for a short time. That means we are sitting for a meditation or we are walking and doing karma yoga and then we begin to fidget. That means we begin to forget him. We get into worldly things. It's like, Om Shanti Baba, how are you? I am perfectly fine. Thank you so much for this life. Thank you for so much for this Brahmin life. Thank you so much for today's another chance for improving myself. And you saying all those things and suddenly you thinking, Baba, you know, this happened to me and that happened and then suddenly Baba is gone and then you're thinking about all those things which that person said in you. So Baba is gone and that person and you are there now. He said that, I said that, he said that, I said that. And then God is gone. So we start forgetting. Sometimes you remain set and sometimes you get upset. Then when you think about worldly things, we get upset. However, when you use the power of concentration and determination, to set your mind and intellect on your seat of a constant and stable stage, you will then become an easy yogi. So in the, in the beginning when you are learning to drive a car or a drive a scooter or a scooty whatsoever, you don't have control, good control over your steering. It's the same thing in meditation. We don't have good control over our thoughts. So when we are sitting for meditation, we are starting the vehicle, we are going towards God and suddenly while well, thinking about God, we go somewhere else. So what we have to do, we have to learn how to steer back. That is control, concentration and determination. So you have to tell ourselves. Or when you are driving, do you let yourself go, okay, 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 I am going that way. No. You think, no, I have to move it this way, right? You think like that. Same way in our thoughts also, we have to think about it like that. That enough of thinking, all those useless things, let's come back and remember God. Again, you start remembering God. Again, your mind goes that way. Enough, come back. You have to tell yourself nicely. This is how the gap between you thinking worldly thoughts and godly thoughts will slowly reduce if you keep on practicing this. Just like driving a motorcycle or a car. You start practicing and after some time you are stable. Then it doesn't go this way, right? That's what we have to do in meditation also. It's a practice. But you have to talk to yourself about it. Om Shanti with this.